Welcome back everyone. Well, it's the only major race right here in Colorado that runs through the Denver Zoo. Danny is out there now. Danny, what a beautiful day to be out there. What are you up to? Oh, Claudia, it's such a gorgeous day. My goodness, we could not have asked for better weather to be out here at the zoo today to talk about the Colfax Half Marathon running through the zoo. I do have to point out, oh no, he left. Where did he go? Oh, he's back there. Okay, Groucho's been moving around. It's been so fun to, to track him. So we're on Groucho Tracker this morning. But again, we are here at the zoo to talk about the Colfax Half Marathon running through the zoo. And of course, I'm joined by Andrea and Bailey. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me out here. Thanks for having us. Yes, of course. Okay, well, Andrea, I want to start with you. First of all, tell me about the race and why it's so cool that they get to run through the zoo. You know, here's the interesting part. It's one of the only ones in the country that runs through the zoo. So it's phenomenal. One of our ambassadors once said it was his own personal safari that morning. Yeah. So everyone is so excited. Even the rhinos are excited. We were here the other day, yeah. and the mama and the daughter were racing each other. And it was awesome. We're like, they're getting ready for the Colfax Half Marathon. So I hope <laughs> everybody else is training too. I love that. That is so awesome and so great when the animals are getting on board. And Bailey, this is your first time running the half here yeah. through the zoo. Um, first of all, are you excited? And second of all, are you nervous that it's going to be distracting? I'd be so distracted. <laughs> I'm very excited. No, this will be my first half um, through the zoo. Uh, the only Colfax race I haven't done. Um, might get a little distracted, but we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully not too bad, but it should be fun. Well, you'll have all of the animals cheering yes. you on, which is so great. Andrea, can people still sign up? You know what? We've sold out the full marathon, the half and the urban 10 miler. But if you want to create a relay team or you want to run the 5K, which is actually on Saturday, you can still sign up not only today, but also at the expo. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, I'm not going to let you guys go without. Um, I'm going to test your knowledge here for some <laughs> trivia. OK, so are you ready? Yes. OK, all right, all right. So what animal can run up to 30 miles per hour? Do you guys have a guess? Hippo. <laughs> Giraffe. Giraffe? Hippo? Andrea's right, hippo. There we go. I can run a full half marathon at 30 miles an hour, but I know it can run 30. I would say not. Okay, okay, so let's do more uh, speed trivia here. What animal can only run up to 15 miles per hour? Any ideas? Rhinoceros? Hey, rhino, yeah. Okay, we got two for rhino. Elephant, guys. Our friend Groucho behind it. I know, I didn't know that one either. That one's pretty fascinating. Okay, how about um, 50 miles per hour for short distances? 50, that's that's fast. How about a cheetah? Cheetah, good guess. Ostrich? Okay. Cheetah, ostrich. We got tiger, guys. Oh. Yeah, close with the big cats. There you go. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, one more. One more for you guys, ready? Uh, which animal is only moving up to five feet a minute? Oh, five feet a minute. How about a lizard? lizard. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to default to a lizard too. Okay. I'm not sure. Default to the lizards. All right, guys, we got a sloth. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's our final finisher. That would have been obvious, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, ladies. I think y'all are both winners, and we are excited to see you run this weekend, Bailey. Amazing. And guys, don't go anywhere because we're going to continue to do fun facts here at the zoo. We're talking to a few people from the zoo coming up in just a little bit. Claudia, I'll send it back to you. Hey, everybody, we're out here live at the Denver Zoo previewing the Colfax Half Marathon, which is running through the zoo this weekend. We're so excited. Now, before I get to our wonderful guests that I have with me, I need to give a shout out to our producer, Colleen Allison, who's a huge Harry Potter fan because we are standing in front of this amazing camel named Hagrid. Check out Hagrid. He's hanging out. It's warm out here, and he found some shade. You got to give some love to him. All right, guys, in the meantime, uh, we are obviously here with Hagrid, but we're also here with Carly and Alyssa. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's first talk, Carly, about how exciting it is to have everybody running through the zoo this weekend. It is such a unique experience. I work at the zoo. I'm here every day, and I run the Denver Colfax Half Marathon. So I can say it's truly a singularly unique experience to run through here. And I think it's just such an exciting experience, and we love the partnership. Colfax is obviously such an iconic street. The Denver Colfax Marathon such an iconic partnership for us, so we're so happy to be a part of it. Amazing, and everybody I know is so excited to be able to run through and see all these incredible animals. I'm also joined by Alyssa, who's a carnivore animal care specialist. Did I say that right? Yes, you okay, did. Yep. Okay, perfect. Um, so this is really great because a lot of the runners are going to be able to see the tigers, which is super cool. So based on like the tiger's schedule, are they going to actually be able to see the tiger in the morning? Yeah, I'd say there's a really good chance you will be able to see her. Um, her name is Nikita, and a lot of times in the morning, she'll be actually up in the loft, um, up on the bridge area that we have, so the upper part of the exhibit. 
of it, um, just kind of looking over everything. Um, a lot of times she's walking around her exhibit because she's looking for us. We get in around 7 a.m. each day. Um, so usually she's kind of around the front of the exhibit time. So hopefully they'll be able to see her. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Well, I think most of our viewers at home are super used to seeing like or taking care of like their dogs or their cats. So this is probably super different from them. So what is it like taking care of a tiger? That's a whole other experience, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of fun. Every day is different um, and it's a lot obviously about safety. And each day we come in, we have a couple keepers that work together to take care of her. Um, so we work in teams and just make sure she has all the things that she needs. Um, she gets each day she she'll get enrichment so she'll get um, we vary her environment up whether that's in the form of toys or scents all different kinds of things and then of course a huge part of my job is training with them each day um, she's learning right now um, her injection behavior so she's been doing really well with that she's about to get um, a voluntary injection next month nice. which we're really excited about so Amazing. Yeah. Oh, Nikita sounds super cool well before I let you guys go quickly to Carly people want to come down and enjoy the race um, what time would you recommend they get here this weekend if people want to come down and cheer on runners they won't be able to inside the zoo because the course is closed once you're inside here mm -hmm. but the zoo will be open regular hours so if you're planning to come to the zoo this weekend and enjoy what will hopefully be beautiful weather I'm mm -hmm. um, just planning on coming your normal time but be prepared for a little bit of a parking challenge so just <laughs> just be prepared for that maybe find alternate transportation carpool walk Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> perfect well guys thank you so so much for joining me out here today of course big shout out to Hagrid back there and uh, make sure you come out here this weekend to check out the zoo guys obviously like we said that half marathon is already fold up but there are other um, races that you can run for Colfax just go to Col uh, runcolfax.org to see exactly what you can run and still sign up for and again feel free to come down cheer on from outside the zoo and once the zoo is open come down and check out all these incredible animals and to all the rest out there have fun checking out Nikita and all the other fun animals guys I'll send it back inside to you